So, uh, Nasrina says that she lives in India. And basically, she is interested in opening a boutique, a shop where she sells women's clothing, whether it is dresses, short sleeves, um, pants, trousers, leggings, whatever. So she says, what's the ruling on that? See, this is a controversial issue. Basically, selling is halal. Allah has made selling and transactions halal and Allah has prohibited usury and interest-based loans. So selling is halal. What's the ruling on selling the pen? Halal. It's not mine, but hypothetically. This uh, uh, cup, this uh, uh, PDA, whatever. Halal. But if I know for certain that it will be used for something that is prohibited, then selling it would be prohibited. So what's the ruling on selling a kitchen knife? It's halal. A woman comes and buys a kitchen knife. She uses it in her kitchen. No problem. But if I know that a particular individual who had just had a fight in front of me, with a man who's bigger than him. And the man beat the heck out of him. So he comes to my shop and says, quickly, give me this knife. How much is it? $10? Here's $10. Give it to me quickly. And I can see sparks coming out of his eyes. And that he's going to kill this person with using this knife. Or at least attack him. Then selling it is totally prohibited for me. The concept, I hope it's clear. Now, selling clothes in a boutique might be halal, might be haram. If I am certain that the clothes will be used in haram, it's not permissible. If I'm not certain, it can be used in haram, but it also can be used for halal. A woman comes and buys lingeries from me. Obviously, she's not going to do this and wear it in the streets. She's going to wear it to her husband, which is halal. So there's no problem in that. So the scholars say that you have to evaluate and see. If you are certain, you must not sell. If you're doubtful or uncertain, then selling it is halal, inshallah.